Hi, I am Mathilde Rufnat, the author of Chopin Cook. In this video, I want to show you how to combine recipes. Combining recipes allows you to easily reuse your base preparations, like dough or dressings, in other recipes. In the previous tutorial, I had shown you how to add this recipe for red beef chili that includes the ingredient toasted cumin crema. Here, I'm going to show you how to link this ingredient to the recipe for toasted cumin crema. I have copied in advance the recipe toasted cumin crema to the clipboard. Now I'm going to add it to the software by using the clip button. This is the recipe. I click on import. Chopin Cook now analyze the recipe to recognize the ingredients. You have the possibility here to select the cookbook in which to add the recipe and an eventual category. We'll just add it to the current, current cookbook My Recipes without categories. Click on Import. And this is the recipe Toasted Cumin Crema. Now let's display the red beef chili recipe to see what happened to it. The ingredient toasted cumin crema is now underlined. That means that it is linked to the recipe toasted cumin crema. If you click on the link, toasted cumin crema opens in a separate window. Also, by linking the recipes, the ingredients of toasted cumin crema have been automatically included in the list of ingredients of red beef chili as you can see here in the shopping item tab. They will also be included in the cost and nutritional analysis. Don't pay attention for now to the color of the ingredients. You will see in another tutorial the meaning of the different colors and what to do about it. The recipe linking takes place automatically when the software recognizes that the name of an ingredient is the same as the name of another recipe. You need however to, know, to know a few basic rules to link recipes always successfully. First, the recipes must be in the same cookbook, like it was the case for the red beef chili and the toasted cumin crema recipes. Second, you need to know that the software links preferably to an article of the database rather than to another recipe. This means that the title of the linked recipe should not be the same as the name of a grocery item. Let me show you an example. I have prepared here a recipe for spaghetti with tomato sauce and it contains the ingredient tomato sauce. You can see that it is not underlined, meaning it is not linked to the recipe for tomato sauce that is in the same cookbook. By displaying the shopping item tab, you can see why it is not linked to the recipe. The software has linked tomato sauce to the grocery item canned tomato sauce instead of linking it to the recipe tomato sauce. You have several ways of fixing the link to the tomato sauce recipe. An easy one would be for example to rename the ingredient on the recipe to homemade tomato sauce so that it is different from um, the article name. A more advanced way would be to remove tomato sauce from the synonyms of canned tomato sauce. But here I want to show you a neat trick to force the linking to a recipe. First, you click on the edit button to edit the spaghetti recipe. And then type one recipe for the quantity of tomato sauce. Now the ingredient reads one recipe tomato sauce. This indicates to the software that tomato sauce is a recipe. Click OK to save the spaghetti recipe. As you can see, the ingredient tomato sauce is now underlined 
meaning it is linked to the recipe for tomato sauce. Also, you can see in the shopping item tab that the ingredients of the tomato sauce recipe are included in the spaghetti with tomato sauce. Note that you could also have specified two recipes or three recipes of tomato sauce and the ingredients of the tomato sauce recipe would have been accordingly scaled. The third rule for recipe linking is somewhat more complicated. The software must be able to scale the linked recipe to produce the specified quantity. And if you have some problem linking your recipes, chances are that this rule is not fulfilled. Let me illustrate it with an example. This recipe for Brussels sprout with hollandaise sauce is not linked to the recipe for hollandaise sauce that is in the same cookbook. If you display the shopping item tab, you can see that hollandaise sauce is in red, meaning that this time it is not linked with an article of the database like it was the case for the tomato sauce in the previous example. The problem is elsewhere. Uh, the problem is that the recipe for Brussels sprouts require one cup of hollandaise sauce, but the software doesn't know the yield of the recipe hollandaise sauce and therefore doesn't know how to scale it to create one cup. You can fix this problem by telling to the software the yield of the hollandaise sauce recipe. To do that, edit the hollandaise sauce recipe by clicking on the edit button and input the yield which is approximately two cups. Click OK to save the recipe. Now the software knows that to create one cup of hollandaise sauce it needs to take half of the recipe for hollandaise sauce. You can see that hollandaise sauce is now underlined <coughs> in the Brussels sprout recipe meaning that it is linked to the recipe. When you click on the link the hollandaise sauce recipe opens correctly scaled to yield one cup. This is all for recipe linking.